Prepare for trouble. Make it double. To protect the round from domination. To unite all players within our nation. To denounce the evils of Bulletin 9. To extend our reach to the skybox above. Team Rocket Blast at the speed of- Oh yeah! The Double Turbo has a lot of things going for it, but I'll try to make this as short as I can. The main niche of this weapon is that you put out two rockets in a single shot, as well as each rocket covering slightly more distance with explosions. This opens up so much more to, well, everything, from ranging from damage to rocket jumping distance, but more on that later. To counteract this mass buff, all the downsides go for the double rocket stand. Lower damage, push force, and you only get one shot in the clip on top of the slower reload speed. Despite all of this, the double trouble managed to deal insane amounts of damage with its two rockets. So in this clip, I just got a oh, my doctor's running and the arsonist is dead. Uh, there's a brood over there, and I completely missed this rocket, but that's besides the point. And I, I shoot a rocket at him, but he gets healed by the million health pack. Uh, I'm just able to get the brood in time with 16 health left, but I hear this mechanic coming up, and I'm able to kill him as well with 8 health to spare. I'm gonna go over the health pack and what the fuck? Next map we're on Yellow Valley, we're trying to capture last. Uh, I see this flanker fighting our flanker and I instantly kill him with one shot. And oh, that's two people and they're dead. If you hate flankers but you still want the benefit of splash damage compared to the direct hit, this thing surpasses the usage of any rocket launcher. The flanker in your face instantly disappears the moment you press that mouse button. Honestly, any class dies at this rocket. Boom! Agent, gone! Marksman around the corner, again, boom, disappear. Seriously, any class that goes up to- Alright, I'll address the weak part of this weapon. The reload speed is the biggest offender to this weapon's weak part. You can't sustain a fight as much as you could with a normal rocket launcher, and the reduced clip size of one doesn't help at all that much either. And despite the damage penalty, there's still self-damage involved, so you'll be dying a whole lot by your own rockets rather than someone else's. So let's reel it back a bit to the stats of this weapon. Plus one rocket, bigger radius, and holy fuck! This is arguably the most impactful stat of this entire weapon. This stat alone drops the rocket jumping damage only slightly below the stock rocket launcher's damage. And even with that lower push force stat, it still sends you incredibly far with just one shot. You get bursts of high rocket jumps, but not the sustained and the control mobility you would get from the stock or any other rocket launcher. So how should you, a typical player, use the double trouble? I'll show you some highly eventful clips of mine that occur while using this ridiculous weapon. In this clip, I just respawn and with no plan whatsoever, I jump behind the enemy lines, get two people with one shot, and, um, well, oh, oh that's a real or Oh, same plan here, I turn around and my rocket jump into the enemy spawn, and I see this annihilator trying to take out our mechanic sentry, and I easily get him with two shots and get out alive. This clip is on Lakeside, and I see this annihilator on our point, but instead of we're going for him, I instead go for this marksman, and, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Two people. Wait, wait, I saw only one dude. But, but who is this? Who are you? Overall, the past month of using this weapon has been pretty phenomenal and incredibly fun zipping around and one-shotting marksmen all around the map. I'll give the Double Trouble 1.6 rocket out of 2 for its total uniqueness and the hit or miss thrill it gives, but the hard punishment of a small clip and the reload speed definitely kneecaps it a lot. 